Hey boys and girls, uh, my name is Jillian Talbot and it's time for another time traveler interview with the Talbots this morning. Mr. Chad really thought he was gonna make it to this one, but he decided to go and climb Mount Everest, so he couldn't come today. So just me to tell you about our Bible story this week. So I brought this item with me today and it's just a regular egg, but I bet if I asked you, do you think it's hard boiled or do you think it's raw? Can you tell just by looking at it? Probably not because a hard boiled egg and a raw egg look exactly the same on the outside. The only change that happens is on the inside of the egg. So our story today is gonna kind of be like that where we're gonna meet someone who changes completely, but it's not their outside appearance, it's what happens on the inside. So last week, uh, you heard a story about Philip, and the Holy Spirit led Philip to go and to tell an Ethiopian man all about Jesus. Um, the Ethiopian man believed and was baptized. So this week, we're gonna hear about another conversion story, but this one is quite different. In this story, we're gonna meet somebody named Saul, who later goes by the name of Paul, and he's gonna become a very changed man. So I'm gonna run to my time machine, go back in time and grab Paul so that we can hear about his conversion story straight from him. Hey Paul, welcome to 2021. Well, hello there, thanks for having me. So I was just telling the kids that you have a really amazing conversion story and I actually wanted them to hear about it straight from you. Oh yes, uh, Jesus really changed me. Let's start at the time where I actually went by the name of, of Saul. Um, now you guys know me as Paul, but after Jesus um, died and went to heaven, people in Jerusalem were per persecuted and treated badly because of their faith. One of Jesus' followers, was Stephen, um, well, he was killed for his faith. And during that time, I watched in approval. I wanted to put an end to the church Whoa, so how did you treat believers? I went into their homes. Uh, I dragged them out and I put them in jail. So I was headed to Damascus to arrest believers and the strangest thing happened to me. Oh really? Well, what happened? A bright light from heaven. It flashed. I fell to the ground and I heard a voice saying, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Whoa, what did you do? I responded and said, who are you, Lord? And did he reply? Yes, he said, I am Jesus. Get up, go into the city, and then you will be told what to do. Well, so did you go? Yes, but here's the thing. When I got up, I opened my eyes and I couldn't see a single thing. So how did you travel to the city if you couldn't see anything? Well, the men I was traveling with they, they led me to Damascus, they helped me. Oh, okay, so you get to Damascus. So what happened next? There's this guy, uh, his name was Ananias. He shows up at this place I was staying. He said the Lord spoke to him in a vision and sent him to this place. The Lord had told Ananias that he had chosen me, the guy who persecuted his believers to preach his name. So Ananias puts his hands on me and I can see again. I got up. And I was baptized. Wow, now that's an amazing conversion. Yes, but there's more. I stayed in Damascus for a few days and visited the, and visited the synagogues to preach about Jesus. I was telling them Jesus is the Son of God. So what did the people do when they heard you? The people were amazed. I've been, going, I've been going by the name of Paul. They recognized me and they knew I wanted to put an end to the church but now I was one of them. Unfortunately, the Jews uh, did not like what I was doing and they wanted to kill me, so I had to flee. I had to run from the city. The disciples helped me escape the city. Wow, that is an amazing story about how Jesus saved your life and chose you to spread the good news throughout the world. The Holy Spirit really worked in your heart and made you a new person on the inside. Thank you for coming and telling us your story. You're welcome. Boys and girls, remember, you're never too far gone from Jesus to come and save you. So boys and girls, 
Just like this egg that I showed you at the beginning, remember it changed on the inside when it became hard boiled? You can see that Jesus can change a person just like that. Jesus took Saul, a hater of the church, one that persecuted believers, and turned them into Paul, a preacher and a believer of Jesus. You know, Jesus can do that to any of us who choose to repent and believe. The Bible teaches that we become new creations when we do that. In fact, the man who wrote that was Paul. That guy who hated Christians became one of the primary writers of the New Testament. No one is too evil to be saved by God's grace and mercy. Our key passage today is Colossians 1.18. It says, And he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning and the firstborn from among the dead, so that in everything he might have the supremacy. After becoming a Christian, Paul wanted everyone to understand how wonderful Jesus is. Paul knew that his sins against God and the church were too great for him to deal with, but he also knew that nothing is too big for Jesus. When Jesus is the most important person in our lives, we can live on mission to glorify him in the whole world. Let's pray. Father, thank you that no sin is too big for you to forgive. Help us to know that there is hope for everyone. Give us boldness to share that with every person we meet. Amen. Have a great week.